Christy from Christy De Roche Digitals, and I just wanted to give you a quick little tutorial on how to take your digital teacher planner that is in Google Slides and edit it in PowerPoint. So I've had a lot of requests for this to ask if this planner will work in PowerPoint and the links will still work. And the answer is yes, and the best part about using it in PowerPoint is that you can use the fonts and things that you wish from PowerPoint on this planner. Now, of course, when you save this planner in PowerPoint on your computer, it's just gonna be available on that computer. Um, the best part about Google Slides is that it is accessible from every place you're logged into your Google account. So what you will do if you wanna edit in PowerPoint, you will come here to File, and then you're going to download Microsoft PowerPoint. It may take a second to come up because it is a rather large file, but when it does, it will download right here in the bottom corner, and you will open that up. Um, again, it might take a second to download, and that is A-OK, -okay, so just be patient with the large file. Okay, so it will open just like this inside of PowerPoint. And the best part is that the links will still work whenever you are on Slideshow. Let's go here and we're gonna click and it's gonna bring me there. So it will not work if you're in edit mode, kind of, um, you know, like editation, it's, it's editing it, but they will work whenever you click on um, present mode. And of course you can edit it as well and add your text boxes, but there will be some text boxes that have carried on from the Google Slides option. So for example, if you wanted to add something on the cover page, you could absolutely do that because now you should have access to all of your fonts because Google is very picky about what fonts they um, use. So my favorite fonts are the AG fonts and of course the uh, PV fonts. So you can of course use those. And then when you want to print or export just that one page, you could do that as well, just like you would print normally. Um, I do recommend printing as a PDF, but you don't have to do that. That's just always my favorite way to print. So this is how you would use it in your PowerPoint. So of course you can screenshot just the same um, for your digital stickers and duplicating your pages. You could duplicate your pages if you want more than one of the same page. Let's find one that you might do that with um, here. So you would right click on it and click duplicate slide. So that way all of the links that were there will still work. And you would do the same thing if you're in Google Slides. So if you wanna duplicate a slide, you would come here, right click and click duplicate. Um, I suggest duplicate just because I know it keeps all the links in the text boxes the same. I'm not sure about copy and paste. I haven't tested it out all the time. I know it does work sometimes, but I just prefer to duplicate. Um, if you are moving a page around, I would suggest duplicating and then moving that page itself, not the original one, because you don't want to break any links just in case, okay? So I hope this um, quick tutorial helped you. Yes, you can use these planners in PowerPoint, because I know some people love their fonts just like I do, and you can always do that as well. If you have any questions, please reach out and tag me on social media, because I would love to see how you use your planner, and I hope you have a great day.